Welcome back to another video. I'm Shane from Learnerpreneur and in today's video we are going to create our free account with MailerLite. To get to this page you just click the link in the description and it will take you here where you can click sign up on the top right hand side. You can get started with a free account. For 14 days you can actually use their premium and promotion pop-ups. Um, if you have less than a thousand subscribers and you can send up to 12,000 emails per month. You do get 24 seven customer support and you can upgrade anytime. Enter in your company or organization, your email address, your password of choice, and create your account. Now you have completed your registration. It is time to complete your profile. You can start that by clicking the center button that says complete profile. To complete your profile, it's going to ask you your first and last name. It's going to ask you your organization information, your address, I recommend leaving the street number uh, blank, but you can include your street, your country, zip code, and state. You can also include your time zone. Mine is Eastern Daylight, or excuse me, Eastern Standard <laughs> Time. It'll also ask you what industry you are in. For today's example, I'll just pick one. How many people work for your organization? When was the last time I sent a campaign or a newsletter? And how many subscribers do I have? It also will ask you, how do you collect subscribers? I collect them via an online opt-in form. However, pick the one that fits you the most. And what content do you plan on sending to your subscribers? Have you used other email marketing services before? Have you ever worked with other website builders before? Have you used any other e-commerce platform before? And how did you find out about MailerLite? Hopefully this tutorial video. However, just pick the answers that are most accurate and true for yourself. Now after that, it's going to ask you to take a look at their anti-spam policy. Definitely take a look at it. It's going to tell you how to avoid a high bounce rate, high uh, unsubscribe rates, and all this important information that really is consistent between all email service providers. So just go ahead and click the I have read Mailer Lights anti-spam policy after you have and agree. You can sign up for their newsletter and if you are not a robot, click the button that says I am not a robot. After you're done, just go ahead and click save. Now you have filled out your profile and you are ready to request approval. Just click the button that says request approval. It's going to ask you to verify that your business goes with their terms of service. So you can verify your website or if you don't have a website, click I don't have a website and it's going to ask you for your social media URL and then it will ask you about a description of your business so just tell them as honestly as you can even if you don't have a lot of email subscribers or a previous business experience tell them exactly what you plan on doing I'm going to enter in my website And after you're done, click Next. Very good. Now you do have to get back to verify your ownership. So just after you check your email, it's going to have you click a link and you'll be all set. And you can just click Next right there. Now typically you will have to wait up to 24 to 48 hours for their approval. They are going to send you an email to the email that you listed when you're entering in your profile information. 
After that, you should be good to go. If for any reason you are not approved, they will guide you in the steps that you need to take so that you may get approved. I hope you took value from this video and I hope it helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing and liking the video. And I hope you have a wonderful day where you are.